Hello everybody welcome to today's video. Today we are going to learn about the basics of welding. And its types. Come let us get into the video and learn something new today. Welding is a fabrication process. Where two or more parts are fused together using heat, pressure or both forming a joint when the parts cool. Welding is usually used on metals and thermoplastics but can also be used on wood. The completed welded joint may be referred to as a weldment. Before getting into the details of welding process and its types, let us know about the basic welding terms. There are some special technical vocabulary used in welding. Those are filler material. When welding two pieces of metals a space must be left between the joint. The material that is added to fill this space during welding is called filler material. The next one is Welding rod. It is a form of filler material that does not conduct electric current. The main purpose is to supply filler metal to the joint. Electrode. It refers to the component that conducts the current from the electrode holder to the metal being welded. The last one is Flux. It refers to the materials used to dissolve oxides and release trapped gas and impurities from the base metal. Now let us take a look at the types of weld joints. There are five major types of weld joints. Butt joint, lap joint, corner joint, edge joint and T-joint. The joint which is formed by placing the ends of two parts together is called butt joint. In butt joint the two parts lie on the same plane or side by side. It is the most simplest type of joint used to join metal or plastic parts together. The joint formed by placing the corner of two parts at right angle is called corner joint. Two parts which is going to be weld with corner joint forms an L shape. The joint which is made by intersecting two parts at right angle and one part lie at the center of the other is called as T joint. The lap joint is formed when the two parts are placed one over another and then welded. It may one sided or double sided. This types of welding joints are mostly used to join two pieces with different thickness. The joint formed by welding the edges of two parts together are called edge joint. This joint is used where the edges of two sheets are adjacent and are approximately parallel planes at the point of welding. It cannot be used in stress and pressure application because weld does not penetrate the complete thickness of the joint. There are many types of welds. The most common types are bead, surfacing, plug, slot, fillet and groove. A weld is a weld deposit produced by a single pass with welding. It may narrow or wide depending on the side to side movement by the welder. Several weld beads applied side by side are usually used in surfacing. A fillet weld is triangular in shape and this weld is used to join two surfaces that are approximately at right angles. Plug and slot welds are made through holes or slots in one member of a lap joint. Groove welds are simple welds made between two members to be joined. The face is the exposed surface of the weld on the side from which the weld was made. The toe is the junction between the face of the weld and base metal. The root of a weld includes the points at which the back of the weld intersects the base metal surface. In a fillet weld, the leg is the portion of the weld from the toe to the root. In a fillet weld, the throat is the distance from the root to a point on the face of the weld along a line perpendicular to the face of the weld. The size of the fillet weld refers to the length of the legs of the weld. Reinforcement is the weld metal in excess of the metal necessary to fill the joint. The fusion zone is the region of the base metal that is actually melted. The heat affected zone refers to that portion of the base metal that has not been melted. However properties of the metal are altered by the welding heat. The different types of welding methods are Stick welding, MIG welding, TIG welding, plasma arc welding, electron beam welding and gas welding. Stick welding, also known as arc welding, is doing it the old fashioned way. Stick welding is a bit harder to master. Stick welding uses a stick electrode welding rod. It is a process in which the arc is struck between the metal rod and the workpiece. Both the rod and workpiece surface melt to form a weld pool. 
simultaneous melting of the flux coating on the rod will form gas, and slag, which protects the weld pool from the surrounding atmosphere. This is a versatile process. Ideal for joining ferrous and non-ferrous materials with a range of material thicknesses in all positions. MIG welding is an arc welding process in which a continuous solid wire electrode is fed through a welding gun and into the weld pool, joining the two base materials together. A shielding gas is also sent through the welding gun and protects the weld pool from contamination. In fact, MIG stands for metal inert gas. The technical name for it is gas metal arc welding. The TIG process uses the heat generated by an electric arc between the metals to be joined and an infusible tungsten-based electrode located in the welding torch. The arc area is shrouded in an inert ore, reducing gas shield to protect the weld pool and the tungsten electrode. The filler metal as a rod is applied manually by the welder into the weld pool. TIG welding is especially suited to sheet materials with thicknesses up to about 8 or 10 millimeters. Plasma welding is very similar to TIG, as the arc is formed between a pointed tungsten electrode and the workpiece. However, by positioning the electrode within the body of the torch, the plasma arc can be separated from the shield and gas envelope. Plasma is then forced through a fine bore copper nozzle which constricts the arc. Three operating modes can be produced by varying bore diameter and plasma gas flow rate. Electron beam welding is a fusion welding process where electrons are generated by an electron gun and accelerated to high speeds using electrical fields. This high speed stream of electrons is tightly focused using magnetic fields and applied to the materials to be joined. The beam of electrons creates kinetic heat as it impacts with the work pieces, causing them to melt and bond together. Electron beam welding is performed in a vacuum environment as the presence of gas can cause the beam to scatter. Due it being a vacuum process and because of the high voltages used, this welding method is heavily automated and computer controlled. As a result, specialized fixtures and CNC tables are used to move the work pieces inside the welding vacuum chamber. Oxyacetylene welding commonly referred to as gas welding, is a process which relies on combustion of oxygen and acetylene. When mixed together in correct proportions within a handheld torch or blowpipe, a relatively hot flame is produced with a temperature of about 3200 degrees Celsius. The chemical action of the oxyacetylene flame can be adjusted by changing the ratio of the volume of oxygen to acetylene. Welding is generally carried out using the neutral flame setting which has equal quantities of oxygen and acetylene. Welding procedure specification and procedure qualification record are documents that refer to the practice of welding. WPS is a set of welding instructions. Welding parameters, such as joint design, position, base metals, electrical characteristics, filler metals, technique, shielding, preheat, and post-weld heat treatment are all detailed in the WPS document. WPS further explains the rules and details of the test and how the pieces should be assembled. In simple words it is like a blueprint for welders to produce the same quality of welded product over and over again. PQR document's purpose is to serve as a checklist of an appropriate welding procedure. The PQR form covers all the welding parameters in the WPS document. In addition, it also includes some observations or other matters regarding welding procedures and specific tests like tensile tests and guided bend tests. Another important component of the PQR is the disclosure of relevant information, such as the welder's name and the name of the person who did the inspection and even the dates with the acknowledgement of the manufacturer or contractor. With that we come to the end of today's video. 
The basics of welding is covered in today's video. We will learn welding in more detail in the upcoming videos. Kindly do keep supporting DRM Engineering and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't. We'll meet you next week with another informative video.